Hello. In this video, I am going to show you how to allow a program through the Windows 7 firewall, as well as how to create custom Windows 7 firewall rules. We are going to use the built-in Internet Information Services that we've installed on our client computer that has a default website on TCP port 80, as well as a custom website on TCP port 4444 that would act as an intranet site. So in our virtual lab today we have two Windows 7 client computers running virtually in VMware Player. BK-CL1 has IIS installed and BK-CL2 is going to be our client computer with a web browser that tests the connectivity through the firewall on BK-CL1. So let's get started by clicking on the start button, clicking on control panel, going to system and security, clicking on Windows Firewall, and then clicking on the link for allow a program or feature through Windows Firewall. And we want to scroll down our Windows Firewall to the bottom and click on the World Wide Web Services. When we click on this, it only puts a check mark in the domain profile because that's the profile in which we're currently using. We could have the option of also extending this to a home slash work private profile or a public profile. But for now, we're going to keep it as a domain profile only. And then we'll click on OK. So now let's go to our BK-CL2 client computer launch our Internet Explorer browser and try connecting to http colon slash slash bk dash cl1 and we click the enter key and there we have it we have a web page served from bk dash cl1 now let's see what happens if we close our browser and relaunch the browser and now we're going to connect to http colon slash slash bk dash cl1 colon 4444 and we hit the enter key and we're waiting and we're still waiting so we don't quite have our windows firewall configured correctly for everything that we intend to do with the computer so if we go back to the windows firewall we have the ability to click on advanced settings and inside of advanced settings we have inbound rules and outbound rules. We're currently configuring inbound rules on BK-CL1 because BK-CL2 is trying to go inbound to retrieve a web page. And on inbound rules, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list, you will see that there are two rules for World Wide Web services. They're both HTTP traffic in the difference is in the profile tab, one of them is for domain traffic, and that's green with the check mark. The other profile is for private public profiles, which we didn't turn on. But this still isn't good enough because if we double click on World Wide Web Services on our domain profile, we can take a look at the settings that we have enabled in here. We can allow an inbound rule to allow HTTP traffic for Internet Information Services, TCP port 80. And if we click on Protocols and Ports, we validate this is port 80 for a connection. We also can go to the Advanced tab and determine that this specifically is for the domain profile. However, let's just click OK for now and try to solve our problem. Coincidentally, there is one other thing you can do to help you filter what you're looking at if you have too many rules in your inbound rules list you can right click inbound rules filter by profile and choose filter by domain profile this makes the list much smaller notice we have one World Wide Web Services so let's try and fix this problem though we're trying to connect on port 4444 for our intranet website so if we go to inbound rules right click specify new rule we don't want a program rule, we want a port rule. So if we put the bullet in port and we click on next, we want to leave the program default to TCP. 
but we want the specific ports down here of port 80 and we want the port 4444 which is what our intranet port is and if we click on next we want to allow the connection and we'll click on next and we only want it to apply to the domain profile so we'll uncheck private and public and we'll click on next and now we need to give our profile a name so let's name our profile lab web server dash ports 80 and 44.44 and then we'll click on finish we've now actually created an additional inbound rule that allows ports 80 and ports 44.44 to connect so here it is we can double click on it and look at it if we go to protocols and ports you'll see port 80 and 44.44 so let's go back to our BK-CL2 computer and try and refresh the page on this port 4444. So I'm going to hit the enter key and voila, we have the appropriate web page that showed up. So what you've just seen here is using pre-configured rules to allow a program in to a Windows 7 firewall, which that one was World Wide Web Services, which is standard on TCP port 80. But then we also created a custom rule that allows port 80 and 4444 in on the domain profile. And that's how you would work with our Windows firewall and the Windows firewall with advanced security. This is BrickHouseLabs.com. Thank you very much for watching.